more heated comments against the people who were defending you. And and on and on it went. And it got it got kind of personal it, at some point. It did get personal and, and it got to the point where I actually deleted the whole thread. So anybody anybody who's not familiar with Facebook, you can type something on there. It's called your status. And my status for that particular day or evening was um, here we go again with something to do with oh I can't mm-hmm. remember what exactly what it said. Mm-hmm. Something to do with Obama and obviously it was um a negative comment towards mm-hmm. the administration. And a lot of some people just write, "I'm going shower, bed, have to get up at 5 a.m." But a lot of no, people. The, the also, funniest one is sell it when they want you to yeah, call their yeah, cell phone. Yeah, E-L-L. Ridiculous. Um, <laughs> but a lot of people do put, you know, political and social news and commentary, and just they're just sharing your thoughts and feelings about what's going on in the world. Yeah, and, and so so I, I put this, and 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 I walked away, and I got back on about an hour later, and there was several comments, probably a dozen or more pro and against what I had Mm -hmm. written. And a couple of the comments really stuck out because they were directly implying, and and, and it wasn't sugarcoating, it was, was, um, you know, pretty obvious that that Mm -hmm. they were implying I was a racist, that it was wrong of me to say something about our president. I'm unpatriotic for doing that. Mm -hmm. Um, And these are, so I wrote back and I said to these same people, how does it make it any different when I do it, but when you did it to President Bush for eight years, it's okay. Right. You know, it's and their I, duty. It's their duty. Is it's, what a du- it's their duty when we disagree. Well, I made the comment. Say. I said, you know, if you live in a glass house, don't throw rocks. Mm-hmm. So it had gotten so bad that I literally had to take all the comments about that post that I put and take them off because it was getting really heated. I was getting upset. The people Mm -hmm. who are my friends on Facebook that were in opposition to what I wrote were getting upset at me. I was getting upset at them. And I finally said, you know, I'm not going to fight over politics anymore. It's not worth it. I have my opinion. People have their opinion. And obviously, you know, we're not going to agree on it. So, what was even funnier is, after I pulled it all off, I then put as my my status, I refuse to talk about politics mm-hmm. anymore. I will not be baited, so don't even try. Good and, luck with that. It could, and, and, and yeah, and, and, and it kept going. So. Right, right. We're going to have more with this. I'm going to share my little sob story about uh, the intolerance of, of those who uh, disagree with the fact that any of us uh, criticize the president. Uh, you're listening to the Amy McManus Show on AM 1480 WLEA. Welcome back to the Amy McManus Show on AM 1480 WLEA. We've got Dave Preet in the studio with, us, with me today. Um, I want to share what happened to me. It, it's kind of similar. Um, an actual in-law, okay, so this is a, a relative by marriage. Uh, we emailed back and forth a couple of political issues. And uh, something I learned you should never do in a debate is mention who you might listen to on the radio or watch on television because apparently um, I was an idiot, is what I was called. I'm an idiot. So I said, okay, well, let's forget the fact that maybe I listened to this one or that one. Aren't all conservatives, though? Of course. Yeah, we're yeah. all idiots. We're mind-numbed robots. And um, it was it was quite striking because in spite of my efforts, and, and I've, I found this happens a lot, to uh, defend myself with facts, uh, I, I sent this, this person links, direct links, to, to news articles online that were written by liberals that he agreed with. And their opinions happened to agreed, happened to be in agreement with mine. So I was trying to send facts, right? Use facts, use common sense. Um, without even looking at any of the facts, uh, after a couple of exchanges, um, and this is what I've, I've found happens, and my husband has been telling this for, me this for years, and I, I, I never really thought about it, but having experienced it, when people are faced with, you're bursting their bubble. I mean, you are literally, um, transforming their reality. They, they believe these things. They don't even know why they believe these things. They can't defend them with facts. So when you, when you confront them with facts, their world is literally crumbling around them. So what they do and what was happened to me was that it became personal, like you said. Um, just, just, just mean, and this was an in-law, just really mean, nasty, 
um, get a job uh, because I, I've chosen to stay home with my children who are who are not of school age. Um, I don't have a real job because I work for a nonprofit. Um, I don't I have enough I letters. Don't yeah, I don't have enough letters after my name, and that's another thing that bothers me too. Is um, and you you had mentioned that as well that somebody <laughs> said something about I'm not even going to talk to you yeah. because you don't have a PhD or something. Right? Yeah, yeah. I had one, during that that whole uh, that whole string of of posts that I was talking about earlier. Um, one of the one of my friends on Facebook had actually said. Well, you know, I'm not talking to you anymore because you don't know what you're talking about. You don't you don't have a degree from Yale or Harvard. Well, let's see. I have a a bachelor's degree from Alpha University. I consider myself pretty mm-hmm. well educated. I didn't realize that in order to talk politics with somebody, mm-hmm. I have to have a degree from an Ivy League school. Right, right. That's ridiculous. But I think the average American would actually the average person of the world would would say that I mean, if you just named the wisest people you know, Almost none of them have those letters after their name, you know. The person who has experiences, life experiences, and just wisdom has nothing to do with, with letters after them. But all of a sudden we've become a society where, especially in politics, um, you know, the guy who works for, for the city or the guy who um, digs ditches, his opinion and his value as a human being is nothing compared to these these those in Washington and and the policy wonks and and the commentators who have all these letters after the name. I think that's the exact opposite of what a democracy is if it's the rule of the people. And so yeah, it's this elitism there. And some of the people who who have become elitists, that is those who think so much less of you or look down on you because you're not you don't have this this specifically nuanced political belief, aren't even the super well-educated elitists themselves, as, as far as when it comes to education or the letters you have after their name, and it, it's 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 really ironic that um, you you can't sit down and have a conversation, or else you're going to get called names. Mm-hmm. You're it, you're going to get attacked personally. Um, and I I had said I had decided after this that I'll give you one chance if I'm if I'm talking to somebody. You've got one chance. You know, you can mess up once, make it personal once, call me a name once, and I'll give you one more chance. But if you can't keep it based on fact, if you can't keep it based on common sense, if you can't listen. You know, when I went to the town hall with Eric Massa, I learned a lot because I have a lot of, a lot of differences with, with, with him, but, but I listened and, and I enjoyed it and I learned a lot. But, um, that seems to be a lost, a lost art. Or even when it comes to the internet and the elect- electronic world, um, everybody wants to type their, you know, type their stuff, uh, but don't want to listen to other people and, and, and learn about what other people think.